Hello everyone and welcome back to EK Academy with a new Blazor topic. It has been a long, while, uh, long time to introduce a new topic in Blazor. Right now we are coming back but with a very awesome topic. And as we have said last year, like the upcoming year is going to be booming for Blazor and basically this is what's happening. Um, yesterday or maybe the day before I've just uh, passed across uh, an awesome website and I just said okay I'm, I'm, I'm gonna share this with you directly and have prepared something very great for you so basically you know that Blazor because of its new and still developers like trying to adopt it there is some cool components UI available out there from the community like and design for Blazor and uh, RADs and all this stuff but like having a very complete one for Blazor, just like you can compare it with other components available for React.js, for example, like we are still too far from that. But with this component that we see in front of you right now on the screen, like things started to get different. This is this is my personal opinion, but what I see, like this is the best UI component that you can find out there. This is like it's one hundred percent complete, very easy to use. And uh, the great developers behind that just basically did an amazing job to provide us with those awesome components. Very, very simple. So as you can see from the first look, of course, you are going to recognize that this one is following the Google's material design in terms of like the color and the styling. But OK, I'm not a big fan of that, but still it's the components out there is just awesome. You can go ahead and I think it's enterprise ready components. So. Let's go ahead and discover a little bit and uh, let's see what I have prepared for you here. So if you go to the motorplazer.com, you, you are going to see this website and here you have the get started. Very easy to get started, just install the package and here you can follow the steps. So you, are, you have access for all the components that's available. So let's see what the component they have. If you go to the components here, look at that. You have a huge variety of different components that Suites for all your needs, like starting from alerts with different styles. And look at that, you can see how it's simple to use. You can have like some advanced components like the app bar, like a few UI components that has such a such a flexibility to give you. Uh, sometimes you need to go ahead and build that with yourself. So you have like this cool one and look at that. You have, it's very, very easy to use. You have avatars. And we have badges and what else? Like buttons, we have a variety of buttons. So, and look, the code is very simple. So once you get started with Motorplazer, you are going to be very productive. This is what I have seen. We have a bunch amount of cards. That's basically fits also our needs. Like we have a very simple card and we have like a little bit advanced and we have more advanced one, just like a post or something like that. And if you look at the code, it's very, very, very simple and clear. So this is magnificent. Like when I checked it for the first time, I was, oh, wow, this is just awesome. It deserves not only a video, but much more. I think many Blazor developers will go ahead and start adopting this one. Here is still in the charts, it has only three few charts, but uh, it's going, I, I'm sure like the community once this one becomes very popular. It's not uh, published recently. I think it's... Uh, it has been published uh, in the late 2020, but like right now it has become some, like it's just getting popular and popular. So we have, we have, look at that. If you spend some time just discovering the components, you will see that it has all the stuff that you basically need to build a very clear and clean, uh, clean code as well, not only from the UI perspective with having all the capability that you want. So look at that. Look at the code here, it's very simple. We have drawers over here. Look at this, how cool is that? And if we go for some cool components, yeah, I was amazed with this one. Like the file upload is very advanced, very cool. Look at this. You have multiple uh, multiple stuff, multiple styles, and here you have dry, uh, drop and drag files here on click. So we have for the forms, we have some advanced controls like autocomplete and this stuff. Okay, you wanted that. And we have this checkbox field forms. Look at the forms. They are very cool. It, it, it has support for the edit form and they have support for their own form called 
multiplayer forums. It's just awesome. It has a very like powerful uh, validation, like look at that. If you click validate, and if I try to set some data like that. Personal, I agree, and I really agree. So look at that. It, it, and this is the traditional edit form. This is the fluent validation. So you see, it's just awesome in real time. And here you have all other steps. Here you have a powerful grid. You have a highlighter. I like this component. Like it's, uh, it's very cool. Look at that. Maybe first. Okay, first. Oh, look at that. This is very cool. And like. You look at the component, it looks cool, and if you look at the code as well, it's very short and clean. Uh, we have message box, we have menu. So look at that, we have lists, nav menu, overlays, paper. I like this paper, like just set of elevation over here. We have speaker for date and time. We have uh, this cool one. I like it so much, like sometimes it's very useful to have a pop over. We have also some cool indicators. Look at that. And we have a skeleton over here for loading. Look at this. This looks just awesome. And we have tables. Tables is very advanced as well. Like this is a very simple table. This is one that has a support for pagination and search as well. And you're going to find also sorting, multi-selection, uh, fixed header. Look at that. So I think it's 100% enterprise ready. I like that so much and I will start adopt this in my project starting from today. We have tabs and we have this one. So look at that. This is just great, just great. Okay, we have some tall tips over here, tree view and we have typography. So look at this, this is very clean. And if you click over here, you have a dark mode. You can customize the theme that you want and you have right to left. If you are trying to have like Arabic, for example, it's just supported with that easy here. Th th there is a section called customization. You can take a look at that. So you can see how you can customize the theme and all the stuff. You, not only those two colors available, you can customize it the way you want. So. If you follow, as I've said, the get started here, if you go to the installation, you can see how you can get started with that. So this will give you access to the normal components. And, uh, but if you, if you get started and you want like this UI, like you want this nav menu and you need uh, like uh, this app menu and this nav menu, how we are going to do this? This is basically what I have just done. I have uh, like cloned their project on the GitHub. I highly recommend you to go to their GitHub and hit a star, maybe donate or something because it's a fantastic job. Like you're going to save a lot of time and a lot of efforts about that. So um, I cloned this project. I checked the documentations here and I tried just to make something simple for you. So you, you don't want to waste your time with the styling and this stuff. So I prepared this very simple repository for you here. So just go ahead and clone this one and you have a the simple Plazer application that you have usually, but this time like it has by default the mode Plazer uh, UI component. So let's see how you can get started with this. So simply click on the code, click on uh, open with Visual Studio, for example, I'm gonna click open. Okay, uh, yeah, everything as it is, let's click on clone. Of course, if you prefer the get CLI or something, you can just type get clone and set the URL. Uh, clone command exit. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, maybe there is a little issue over here. Let me close this one. And what I'm gonna do is to take this URL, I will open my favorite client tool called Git Kraken. So I'll go for this one, I click clone a repo, set the URL, and browse, for example, I'm gonna choose desktop, let's say, okay. 
and no desktop and or yeah let's set another place maybe here open source select folder clone the repo so that's it open now okay this is the repo and right now if I go for that folder open source Look at that, my blazer sample. So you see the images and this blazer. And here we go. This is you have a very uh, basic blazer of assembly application, but it has everything you need to get started. So if you open up this project, and what we can do as well is to go for the code. I think I'm in the wrong folder over here. Yeah, this one. This is the project. Let me open up the CMD. And I will type the comment .NET watch run. Uh, first, you need to restore, but yeah, anyway, it's going to take it. Uh, take responsibility for all this stuff. And uh, let's see. Oh, look at that! This is a normal Blazor application, but with the purple design. But this one is for Mother Blazor. So you can directly go ahead and get started. You have a demo page here. This is just a sample, like to show you a test. I'm always going to add from time to time and uh, new pages over here. So it, it could be paged, uh, it could be used somewhere else. So look at that, we click login. We see this cool message. Look at the design of this. I liked it so much. If you click login with the other password, you're going to see this. So this is just great. And for the getting started here, you already have access for those pages, the traditional Blazor one. This is the fetch data. And if we switch to the dark mode, look at that. This is fancy, basically. We can switch from right to left, left to right. Very easy. So whenever you want, just go ahead, clone this project, and you are ready to go. So, and yeah, I hope you liked it. And don't forget not, not to go to my repository, but to go to their repository, which is, I'm, I'm gonna share the link in the description box below and to hit the star button for this amazing work because basically it deserves more than that. And the great news is, I know that Planner app, I've, I've launched that course maybe last year and like I got a good number of viewers and good number of people. I have received a lot of, cool comments from you about the, that course and it was pretty simple I didn't follow all that stuff all the like a great technology available in Blazor because it was still in the preview and it was just the first thing I, I introduced in Blazor so I made it for the very very beginner people and right now because you liked it and because we have the API out there and we have the code also of the client so let's make a part two of that let's try to re-innovate this application and provide it with uh, this fancy UI we have here with all the school features and made some slightly changes to the code and divide the components maybe in a better way so we have a more efficient application and then you will see how you are going to integrate this one and uh, yeah how to refactor maybe do some refactoring so maybe I'm, we, are, we are going to make a one long video that we take the client that we have we bring Mad Blazor for it and then we start to re-innovate, like, okay, this components, we can divide it into two, three components. We re-innovate the register and the login and this stuff. So, yeah, it's going to be perfect journey if you, if you agree with that and uh, you are really interested for this. So, please uh, share that with me in the comments so I know that you are really interested for that, to do this and apply that for the planner app in a one long video. Or maybe we can make it like a short series for innovation. And I really hope like you like this video, you like these components, and also you like this pretty sam pretty simple sample available for you here. So you can find, as I've said, all the links in the description box. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe, and the share button. And see you.